Good morning, students. In last class, we have discussed the urine formation. So, in urine formation, here the main function of the kidneys or nephrons are the urine formation. These are nephrons are mainly meant for the urine. a formation so here there are three steps are taken place in a urine formation one is the glomerulus filtration and second one is a tubular reabsorption and the third one is a tubular secretion so these are the three steps where they are taken place in the urine formation already we have studied glomerular filtration it is the filtration of the blood within the glomerulus so here it favors uh, it takes place the two factors one is nature of capillaries as well as the pressures so there are three type of pressures are there uh, one is uh, uh, glomerulus hydrostatic pressure and uh, the second one is uh, glomerulus osmotic pressure or otherwise it is called as blood colloidal osmotic pressure and the third one is uh, capsular hydrostatic pressure the first one is uh, the positive pressure and the second remaining two are negative pressures uh, where we can able to calculate the net uh, filtrate uh, net filtrate rate which we calculate uh, here we can get 25 mm per hg of net filtrate rate is produced so that is how it can take in place the glomerulus uh, the pressures so that is glomerular filtration next uh, reabsorption reabsorption is uh, taken place from uh, nephric filtrate into the peritubular capillaries uh, we can call as a uh, reabsorption of substances like water and uh, sodium and potassium ions are absorbed in different regions of uh, the uh, parts of nephron these are absorptions are taken place and the last one is uh, tubular secretion from uh, peri secretion of uh, the substances from uh, peritubular capillaries into the nephric filtrate uh, we can called as a tubular secretion at the end of these uh, 180 liters of the uh, of the liters of the water is uh, presenting only a uh, one and half liter of water only we are eliminated in the form of a uh, urine and remaining 178 liters 178 and half liter of water is uh, reabsorbed into the different regions of the uh, tubules that already we have uh, discussed so this is how it uh, taken place uh, in the uh, urine uh, uh, formation next uh, coming to the uh, mechanism of urine Here, mechanism of urine means human urine. Urine is a hyperotonic urine. Here, human urine is a hyperotonic, hyper, hyperotonic urine. Human urine is a hyperotonic urine. Where this is taken place in the uh, that is in the U-shaped hairpin shaped structure. Hairpin. hair pin shaped hair pin loop like and hair pin loop like uh, structures these are taken place that is in the in the these are taken place in a henles loop that is a taken place in a henles henles loop of of a nephron it is a taken place in henles loop of nephron that is in both it is a taken place in a descending limb descending 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 limb as well as uh, and also the ascending uh, ascending limb ascending uh, limb why means uh, these are uh, pass these are opposite in a directions these are in uh, a opposite in a uh, directions where it takes place along with this uh, here it is also taken place in uh, a peritubular capillaries uh, a peritubular uh, capillary sorry not peritubular capillaries uh, they are called as vas recta peritubular capillaries in the form of uh, the vas recta vas uh, Right. Uh, that means uh, here the peritubular capillaries which are running parallel to the Henle slope, uh, we can call them as vas recta. So in this descending limb as well as ascending limb in the peritubular that is uh, in vas recta, here the concentration of uh, urine is uh, taken place. Uh, so that concentration of urine which is uh, taken place uh, in the formation of urine, uh, this mechanism is called as uh, 
this process we can call as a mechanism of a, a urine where this mechanism of urine was discovered by Tiz and Bray in the year 1960 where it is a taken place in the Henley slope that is in a, a descending as well as the ascending a lymph and also it is our in descending and as well as ascending lingua of Henley slope that is U-shaped will passes and a parallelly arranged the capillaries are presenting that parallelly arranged capillaries which are presenting we can call them as vas recta in this vas recta to the peritubular capillaries from peritubular sorry from uh, as that is ascending and descending into the vas recta from vas recta to the ascending and descending limb here the urine formations are concentrated urine formation is uh, taken place how this process will be taken place uh, now will be discussed uh, the one by one so coming to the and uh, a differential that is in uh, a mechanism of urine uh, here it takes place counter counter current a counter current here counter current means the flowing in the the fluids are flowing in between descending descending and ascending limb descending and the ascending a limb so this we can call as the counter current and here it shows that the counter current and exchanger counter current exchanger means that the fluids the blood entering into the into the vas recta that is blood entering into the descending limb of the vas recta and leaving out of the descending ascending limb of the vas recta this we can call as the counter current counter a current counter current exchanger exchanger means here exchanging of the fluids from descending limb into the vas recta descending limb into the vas vas recta vas recta and from going out going out going out from ascending limb into the vas recta then we can call that as the a counter current and exchanger it is called as a the counter current and exchanger and also here it takes place by two factors one is called as a, the differential permeability of a, a loop of henley's loop, loop of a henley and a second one is maintenance of increase the osmotic pressure down the renal pyramids so here a differential permeability of a loop of henley's means here the descending limb is descending limb is permeability of water descending limb here the descending limb is the descending limb the in this the descending limb descending descending limb is a permeability of the permeability the permeability of water and impermeability of solutes impermeability impermeability of s solutes and opposite here ascending limb ascending limb is ascending a limb is the impermeability of solutes the permeability permeability of solutes and impermeability of impermeability impermeability of water so this is where we can take in place the differential permeability of a loop of henley's where here ascending as well as descending limb here ascending limb is permeable of water and it is impermeable of the solutes and ascending limb is imperme it is permeability of solutes and impermeability of water so here in the last class i said reverse i think if it is reverse means it is exchanger here so here it is 
a descending limb is mainly meant for permeability of water and impermeability of solutes and ascending limb is permeability of solutes and impermeability of a water that is taken place where it takes place the differential permeability of loop of NLC is taken place and also the maintenance of increase the osmolality down the renal palmates. So here osmolality, osmolality that means osmolality means the interstitium. So here when the interstitium the osmolality of osmosis is increased from in the interstitium of the nephron here interstitium of a renal pyramid here inter interstitium interstitium of interstitium fluid interstitium fluid of interstitium fluid of uh, down the pressure that means osmotic pressure down the renal permits uh, where increase the osmotic pressure we are increasing the osmotic pressure from uh, 300 uh, 300 osmo uh, mole per uh, osmolality per liter uh, to the and uh, 1200 1200 uh, mole per uh, osmolality per liter uh, it is increasing will be taken place uh, so that is mainly taken place the maintenance of increase the osmotic pressure in the interstitium fluid of the nephron where in the interstitium around the interstitium of the nephron here the concentration that is osmotic pressure is increased from a 300 to a 1200 mole per osmolality per liter it is an increasing is a taken place and next here if you take in place the solutes the two solutes that are concentrated, the two solutes that contributes the gradients of osmolality of are the NaCl and urea. Now here as the wall of descending limb is of endless loop is a permeable of water and, imperme and, uh, and interstitium of is concentrated. The water diffuses out from descending limb until the fluid in the descending limb and interstitium are isotonic. That means when the water is permeability of that means here the Henley slope descending limb of Henley slope is permeable of water. That water which is enters it diffuses into the interstitium. So the interstitium as well as the descending limb of the Henle slope will becomes isotonic that means same concentrated it becomes up to that the water is diffuses from descending limb into the an interstitium where it becomes an isotonic in solutions and this makes the filtrate increase in the hyperotonic as the progress downs the a decreasing a limb that means here when it is become isotonic here becomes the urine will becomes a, a more concentrated it becomes a, when it is more concentrated it becomes a, so here it becomes to the an hyperotonic solution as the progress is the taken place in the a descending a limb this is where it is uh, taken place uh, and uh, next uh, there are several sequential uh, steps are there uh, what are that uh, now will be uh, discussed now coming to this uh, is as the ascending limb is a uh, permeable of solutes and a relatively impermeable of a uh, water here it is uh, an active transport of Na plus and Cl minus that is sodium and uh, sodium ions and chloride ions from the filtrate into the interstitium thus the surrounding interstitium becomes concentrated and the filtrate becomes an hypertonic that means in the first descending limb it is permeable of water only it does not allow perme impermeable of the solutes where it becomes an hypertonic up to this here becoming into hypertonic but here in ascending limb here impermeable of it is permeable of solutes and impermeable of water here what happens the active movement of sodium and chloride ions where into the interstitium and the surrounding will become so, and concentrated then the solution will become that means then it becomes an hyperotonic in solution and also in the uh, descending uh, de de uh, sorry in the descending limb five percentage of water is absorbed here a uh, five percentage of water is uh, absorbed reabsorbed into the uh, descending uh, reabsorbed reabsorbed in, uh, in the uh, descending limb descending uh, a limb 
where here with the help of this a hormone called as an hormone called as the adh hormone with the help of an adh hormone anti diuretic and hormone here and 5 percentage of water is a reabsorption of water is taken place in a, in a digital convoluted descending limb where with the help of an hormone called as an adh hormone and also here in the osmolality of increasing the osmolality of uh, the ascending as well as uh, a descending uh, limb uh, where here due to this increasing the osmolality of uh, uh, that is uh, from uh, osmolality of from descending limb to the uh, vas recta from uh, of uh, vas recta and also the ascending limb of uh, from uh, from ascending limb to the a vas recta here the increasing the fluid that means uh, how it is the taken place means uh, the water is diffuses from uh, descending limb of uh, the water is a uh, uh, diffuses from uh, uh, diffuses from descending limb of the <coughs> from descending limb into the an ascending limb of a vas recta here water is a diffuses where they are circulated and removed regularly to the circulation they are removed where here likewise the sodium and potassium ions are increases where increase that are decrease that means increasing these increase are removed from the interstitium of the fluid where increasing the an osmolality of the solutions so when increasing this osmolality here again and again in circulation they are removed where here it becomes an hyperotonic solution where in this lastly here in a collecting duct in a, a collecting duct what is the here taken place that collecting duct it helpful for the concentrator that means water is reabsorbed where the interstitium of fluids are reabsorbed so when it is taken place here the concentration will becomes in the in the collecting duct the concentration of urine the collecting at duct the concentration is becomes an hyperotonic hyper atonic so then hypertonic urine it becomes into the an hypertonic urine this hypertonic urine is eliminated this is eliminated from the renal permeates from renal permeates to the pelvis from pelvis it passes to the an urinary bladder through the urinary bladder these are excreted and outside of the body where here this will be acts as that means here the vas recta will acts as the counter counter current exchanger between an ascending and also descending where there it shows the fluids are moment opposite moment of fluids water and fluids are taken place where we can taken place as a, a water that is a counter current and where the interstitium it is a taken place in the vas recta that means the peritubular capillaries are running parallel here in between the henle slope so here that will be vas recta will acts as the counter current and exchanger exchanger means here exchange fluids from ascending as well as descending fluid from where from it is passes to the an interstitium it is a passes and where they are excreted outside from the circulation the general again and again they are removed from these uh, where the concentrated urine is uh, a formation in the in the and concentration urine formation is a uh, taken place uh, this is uh, how the mechanism of uh, an uh, a counter current mechanism is taken place or how the mechanism of uh, a urine formation is a uh, uh, taken place this is uh, where that is uh, taken place uh, in an uh, and a front when the that is mainly taken place this is mainly taken place in a, a loop of henle that is a hair pin shaped structure that is u shaped where that is in a, a descending as well as ascending limb and also that are taken place in a, a vas recta and also into the interstitium fluid where it becomes hypertonic as well as hypotonic where the concentrated increases and also here the osmolality also increased from 300 to 200 osmolality of pressures that are increased where it is it is taken place so this is how the mechanism of urine is taken place in our body that is in an france now coming to the that is uh, the uh, how the regulation of uh, the you know, the kidneys are taken place uh, now will be uh, discussed 
so in this here uh, in the mechanism of this uh, the the sodium and uh, the chloride ions are excreted uh, they are diffuses into the an ascending limb of the an ascending limb of the vas recta are diffuses into the and the descending limb of the a vas recta where they are trapped and they are removed again and again where increasing the an osmolality will be a taken place and also here the ascending limb that is in collecting that the urine with the water and water is diffuses outside it becomes more concentrated where it is under the a control of the an adh a hormone now coming to the an regulation of kidney functions how the regulations are taken place regulation of kidney functions regulation of regulation of regulation of kidney functions kidney functions so here regulation of kidney functions is mainly taken place by r a a s system r a a s that is a, an a renin it is called as a renin renin angio 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 tension angio tensin tensin angio tensin and aldosterone aldosterone system it is called as a the renin angiotensinogen and in angiotensin tensinogen tensi sinogen angiotensinogen aldosterone system where here increasing the a blood pressure that when when blood volume is increases uh, here uh, when blood volume is a uh, decreases here increase the volume of the uh, blood that is maintained by the uh, renin which is uh, secreted by the an uh, angiotensinogen uh, and also they are stimulated by the an uh, aldosterone system where here when the blood pressure that means uh, blood volume are increase decreases uh, here uh, jukta jukta medullary jukta medullary and nephrons jukta medullary nephrons jukta medullary nephrons will secretes the substance called as the renin where this renin will converts the angiotensinogen it is converted into an angiotensin tensinogen into angiotensin 1 and 2 angio angiotensin 1 and 2 where it helpful for increasing the uh, blood volume as well as uh, increases the blood pressure also the increasing the blood a uh, uh, volume will be taken place uh, where here it is uh, secreted that is uh, in the plasma protein it is in blood plasma here blood plasma protein that is uh, the angiotensinogen where this is uh, secreted uh, it is uh, secreted by the uh, liver it is a uh, uh, secreted by the uh, liver where it is helpful for increasing the uh, blood volume that is uh, taken place uh, that is due to the an uh, <coughs> jukta medullary nephrons which are taken place in the uh, blood along with this here it also produces the aldosterone hormone where here and the aldosterone hormone here the absorption of the reabsorption of the sodium and the potassium ions that are absorption of taken place by the an aldosterone hormone where it increases the blood volume as well as blood pressures are increases that is so this system we can call as the renin angiotensinogen and aldosterone aldosterone system where it is increases the blood volume as well as the blood pressure which is taken place in the but that are secreted by the liver that means this is mainly secreting by the liver that is taken place that is decrease in the blood volume and blood pressure 
the cells of decrease the, the blood volume and blood pressure the cells of uh, ducta medullary nephrons will secrete the substance called as a uh, renin this renin will produce the plasma protein will secrete a protein called as uh, the angiotensinogen where it is an inactive form that is converted into an active form that is as angiotensinogen 1 and a uh, 2 where these are secreted by the liver cells where it helpful for increasing the blood volume and uh, uh, blood pressures are increases uh, along with this uh, an aldosterone also hormone is secreted uh, where this aldosterone is mainly secreted by the an uh, adrenal a gland which is present above the a kidneys uh, where here these are helpful for reabsorption of sodium and uh, potassium ions uh, where that is increases uh, the blood volume and uh, a blood pressures are increases uh, that is mainly taken place with the help of uh, a system called as uh, RAAS system that is uh, a renin angiotensinogen aldosterone a system and uh, next one that is it taken place uh, the atrial necrotic effectors that the second one is uh, the atriotic uh, atrial atrial necrotic necrotic effector so here this atrial necrotic factor it was secreted by the and heart cells uh, that is myo cells of the heart uh, these are secreted where these are helpful for increasing the uh, blood volume that what are that uh, will be uh, discussed so here uh, an atrial necrotic factor it is uh, and kidney regulating uh, factors uh, that is uh, the atrial necrotic atrial myocytes of the heart uh, they are secreted that means uh, the atrial uh, the myocytes myocyte <coughs> that are uh, the atrial uh, the myocytes the atrial myocytes the atrial myocytes of the uh, heart these are secreted uh, where they are these are uh, presenting these are present uh, renal regulating hormones these are uh, this is uh, and renal renal regulating regulating hormone it is a renal regulating hormone where it is regulated by an atrial myocytes of the heart where here it helpful for the reabsorption of that means the sodium retention is a taken place where when sodium is a taken place reabsorption is not really taken place here here it helpful for decrease the reabsorption of water when more amount of sodium is secreted so that here the urine is concentrated urination is taken place where these myo cells will helpful for decreasing the blood volume as well as the blood pressure where here it is opposite to the and RAAS system it is a uh, an opposite to the an RAAS system where here it is helpful for decreasing the blood volume as well as uh, a blood pressure where here increase the concentration of urine is uh, taken place uh, that is uh, due to the an atrial uh, atrial necrotic uh, a factor that is a taken place uh, that are uh, these are renal regulating hormone that are atrial myocytes of the heart where here a uh, sodium here retention is a uh, taken place that means sodium reabsorption is a uh, taken place uh, when uh, water is uh, less reabsorption of water is less is a uh, taken place uh, when it is secreted more amount of uh, sodium ions are secreted into the outside so that is mainly taken place by an atrial necrotic uh, factor and also these are helpful for decreasing the uh, pressure that is volume of the blood as well as the pressure uh, that is uh, that is uh, opposite uh, this is that means atrial necrotic factor is opposite to the an uh, renin angiotensinogen aldosterone a uh, system why means here increase the uh, blood pressure and volume but here decreasing uh, increasing and here decreasing the blood pressure and the volume where here a retention of the urine formation will be at a taken place from the urinary bladders and uh, next if it taken place that is uh, an adh hormone adh uh, a hormone adh hormone means uh, here uh, anti diuretic anti diuretic diuretic 
डायोरेटिक हार्मोन यर एंटी डायोरेटिक हार्मोन इट सिंपल वी कैन कॉल्ड एज एन ए डी हेच हार्मोन वे दिस ए डी हेच हार्मोन इज स्टिम्युलेटेड बाय दि एंड हाइपोथैलामस हाइपोथैलामस वेर दिस हाइपोथैलामस विल स्टिम्युलेट्स द पिट्यूटरी ग्लैंड इट स्टिम्युलेट्स दि पिट्यूटरी ग्लैंड pituitary gland this pituitary gland will stimulates the adh a hormone either increasing or a decreasing when it is less it helpful for increase the level of an adh hormone when it is increase it decreases the level of the adh hormone so here due to the presence of an adh hormone that is anti diuretic hormone here it helpful for the reabsorption of water is taken place in the and the fronds that is in you know, a this is mainly taken place that means reabsorption of water is mainly taken place in the presence of an hormone that is called as an adh hormone where here this adh hormone is also called as the vasopressin it is also called as a vasopressin pressin vaso a pressin ऐसो पर ऐसो पर्सिन इट इज ऑल्सो कॉल्ड एज ऐसो ए पर्सिन हार्मोन वेर हियर ड्यू टू द प्रेजेंस ऑफ दिस हार्मोन हियर इट हेल्पफुल फॉर री एब्जॉर्बन ऑफ वाटर विल बी टेकन प्लेस इफ दिस हार्मोन इज लैकिंग लैकिंग मीन्स इट इज नॉट बी प्रेजेंटिंग वॉट हैपन्स द यूरिन विल बिकम्स ए डेल्यूटेड सो द यूरिन विल बिकम्स a tasteless in condition why means here due to the urine the taste of urine is a the taste the taste of <coughs> taste of urine is a, a salty so when salty here when the adh hormone is not be presenting here more amount of water is eliminated in from the body that means here a polydipsia condition will be taken place here it shows a, a poly a dipsia dipsia means poly means many dipsia means taking of water taking sorry here taking of water taking of water many times many at times so this process we can call as the polydipsia a condition when polydipsia condition is taken place here the water which is presenting that is reabsorption of water is not be taken place when reabsorption of water is not be taken place here it causes a disease that means here the urine will becomes a tasteless it becomes a a tasteless the urine will becomes uh, tasteless uh, this condition uh, this condition is called as uh, the diabetes uh, dia dia diabetes diabetes insipidus uh, insipidus so this condition we can call as uh, the diabetic uh, in supitus in diabetic in supit means uh, here uh, water is absorption of water is not be taken place that water will be produced uh, along the urine that means uh, the water is uh, which is uh, presenting that will not be absorbed due to the lack of adh hormone so water will be eliminated in the form of urine so here the water the urine will becomes a tasteless that means salty that the taste of urine is salty when becomes salty it becomes to the tasteless so when becomes tasteless this condition we can call as the diabetes and insipidus so this is mainly taken place by the an adh hormone and another another disease is there that is a diabetes a mellitus a diabetes mellitus means here in the proximal convoluted tubule essential elements are absorbed in the essential elements a glucose is also presenting that glucose which is a presenting that is not absorbed by the a proximal convoluted tubule that glucose will comes along the urine so the urine will becomes a, a sweet in taste so that a sweet in taste the disease we can called as the diabetes mellitus so here this is mainly 
here uh, this diabetes mellitus is mainly taken place due to the lack of uh, an insulin hormone insulin hormone is not be taken place uh, that absorption of glucose will not be taken place uh, so that glucose will comes uh, along the urine uh, the urine will becomes uh, a sweet in uh, a taste so this condition uh, we can call as uh, a diabetes uh, mellitus uh, and a diabetes insipidus here diabetes insipidus is mainly taken place due to the lack of uh, an adh hormone where the urine will becomes uh, taste tasteless in condition uh, so this condition we can call as a diabetes uh, mellitus uh, that is diabetes mellitus is differ from the diabetes uh, insipidus that is diabetes mellitus is differ from the uh, diabetes insipidus why means uh, here the insipidus is mainly taken place uh, by the adh hormone and uh, in mellitus is uh, taken place by the an uh, insulin uh, hormone so these are secreted insipidus is mainly secreted uh, by the kidneys and uh, this is secreted by the pancreas so here uh, these are the that means the adh hormone first hypothalamus stimulates the stimulate by the pituitary gland the pituitary gland will secretes adh hormone where here pituitary gland will differentiate it into anterior as well as the posterior the posterior hormone will secretes the two hormones one is called as adh hormone and second one is called as an oxytocin these are the two hormones which is secreted by a posterior pituitary gland this is a that is a, a posterior a pituitary gland and anterior pituitary gland will secretes the seven hormones uh, what that are already we have discussed that will detailly discussed in the uh, topic of uh, uh, chemical coordination so this is how here it explains uh, the these are the uh, various uh, uh, hormones which are regulated by the uh, kidneys one is uh, rias that is renin angiotensinogen aldosterone and atrial natrotic factor and the third one is the anti diuretic hormone where it is causes a disease called as the diabetes and insipidus where this diabetes insipidus is leads to the and polydipsia condition polydipsia means taking off more amount of water into the body when more amount of water is taken place that is eliminated in the form of a urine only that water will be eliminated so this condition we can call as a polydipsia a conditions so this is uh, where that is uh, this uh, in the next class we'll, we'll discuss uh, the regulation of other hormones that means other organs uh, which acts as uh, the excretory and organs uh, and lastly we'll discuss uh, the disorders of the an uh, excretory a uh, system that will be uh, discussed in the uh, next uh, class